I think did you start an auto at the start? I'm gonna just be slightly anal with your clear. Okay, let's see. I know you got the auto, man. Uh, I should be auto doubling right away. Okay. Some DPS leaving that thing up. Okay, hiding is okay. So, I don't know if I should be, like, saving smite for both, like, scuttles, or can I just use it on gromp and, like, have one smite up? Oh, um, you... It depends on if you're if you're expecting a contest or not. If you're not expecting a contest, you don't have to save any you don't have to save any smites. Uh, some people yeah. get really upset about this, but like if you watch high low games, a lot of junglers just use both smites because they're not. It's not going to be a contested scuttle, so they'd rather just get their their clear done faster. Um, oh okay. So if you're like mirrored with the enemy jungler and you know both scuttles are going to be free, like he's taking this one, you're taking this one, go ahead and smite. Um, if you know it's going to be contested, though, yeah, then you probably want to save one. So, All right. um, smiting Gromp here is fine. Saving it for, like, Red or, Kro Red or Krog is also fine. And then probably saving okay. one for Scuttle, because you know Kha'Zix is going to be there. Yeah. Okay, your cutting is not bad. Uh, looks like that ease a bit early, but it's alright. Auto stutter. I guess Volley's healthy enough, you don't really need to walk into it, so it's fine. Uh... Uh, yeah, I kind of like stopped autoing for a second there. Yeah, and then I think an X you autoed the little wolf an extra time, but it's all right. Um, okay, so you might want to work on your clear for volley just a little bit. You you have the spreadsheet, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, hold up. Just pulling pulling wolves across a bit better so you can maintain the Q stack the stacks over to uh, Volley bear, blue gromp wolves, raptor red crux. Yeah. What was the timer on that? Um, three fourteen, and then red is three eighteen. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, so given that you had a bot leash, you should be able to full clear into scuttle. But because Kha'Zix might be here right away, um, it may be better just to five camp. So we'll see what you do. But it looks like because like if you want to go for the full clear with the bot leash into scuttle, you gotta be like uh -huh. on point. You can't be behind at all. Otherwise, we'll get the scuttle so... a bit late. Yeah, it has to be like at 314 exact. Yeah, so probably because you're matched in this game, I'd just go 5 camp in the scuttle because it looks like your clearing's not too great yet, so you're a little bit behind pace. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd just check the video out and then work on the wolves to raptors transition a bit separately. It's not a huge deal to maintain your stacks. Like, Volley gets that shit back up pretty fast, but, it, you know, it's, it's better to maintain them than not. Uh -huh. So you're, you're, kite, you're kiting and targeting on wolves. It's just a little bit off. I think you're not actually supposed to need a second E at wolves, if I recall correctly, but you targeted the little wolves a bit too much, so... <laughs> well, okay. Right. No cancels could be a bit quicker, but nothing too bad. I think I'm, the main thing I noticed so far is you're not looking at the lanes at all during your clear so far. <laughs> um, are you playing on lock screen? I am. Okay, um, I'm trying to get like into the habit of not to, but yeah, um, it's uncomfortable. But I would recommend just putting more effort into that because r right now, like crossing over from wolves to raptors, you've got a lot of time to be checking mid, checking top, checking bot. Because mm -hmm. once you get used to the clear, like there's no point staring at this, right? You're just yeah, I, I know what I'm doing. Like, yeah, so definitely make a note of you need you need to start learning to unlock cam and maybe maybe F key. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see here. That's probably going to be your biggest problem. Just saying right off the bat, like lack of F key, lack of camera movement, because mm -hmm. you know you're 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 jungling blind right now. So yeah. Okay, you should definitely be checking mid because you see the portrait. You see Galio's portrait hopping onto Annie here. Mm -hmm. you should definitely be. This is a timer where because you know Kazakh started bot side, right? So you you should be question mark pinging around his jungle right now because you don't know if this guy's gonna six camp. 
Uh, he might yeah. go for a five camp, a four camp, and both of your solo lanes are pushing in right now. And if Kha'Zix ganks at this timer and like gets a successful gank off, he has Scuttle Pryo, and you just have to give it up. So mm -hmm. this is dangerous for your laners, and you should be like tapping, like F keying over or clicking over, checking the lane state, and like maybe three question mark pings right here because Kha'Zix might be around. Okay. So just remember, like telling your yeah, laners where the enemy jungler is. That's your responsibility as a jungler. Uh huh. Yeah. See, see, like right here. Um, th this is pretty obvious, right? Like he started bot side. There's a great chance he's hiding up here. So your Riven should have known this in advance from you. She lost Flash, and there's a good chance you lose Scuttle Pryo here, unless the Kha'Zix stays around too long. Yeah, I'm not sure why he's chasing it. He could have just taken a free Scuttle. It looks like yeah. he did it now. But yeah, you, you see what I mean. Mm -hmm. hey, um, don't think you actually needed to smite that. I would have just gotten to the other side of this and pushed it down so that you could head towards your... Yeah. Because um, the thing is... If you push this up, you have the potential of coming up here for your Krugs, but because we pressed tab, which is good, and you saw Kha'Zix had 12 CS, um, I think that means he went red blue Gromp, right? So his Raptors and Krugs are both up. So yeah. it'd be pretty, a pretty solid path to just push this downwards, cross down here, and then you can head into his, his Raptors, and then maybe his Krugs and Scuttle, depending on the bot lane state. Okay. Okay, so let's see how you actually play this out. So yeah, I, I don't think this might was necessary. Just push downwards. Mm -hmm. Toss in the mid. Should definitely be tabbing. Ooh, okay. Should be F keying or clicking over the bot right now because you're heading down there. Okay. All right, like if if you que yeah okay queuing here is like a big mistake. You always want to check down here first to see if there's like something going on because your bot lane's really low, right? They might be getting engaged on. Mm -hmm. You don't want to engage on the scuttle before seeing because you're not in huge time pressure. You know, Kha'Zix is up here. It's not going to be taken yeah. immediately, and you have pressure. You have prior mid as well, so there's like almost no risk the scuttle's going to disappear. So if you're you're like defaulting onto the scuttle, your bot might die because of it. Mm -hmm. We didn't land on this thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know what happened. Usually the files I get are like one, one, two gigabytes. So yeah, but it's all right. Um, but yeah, you, you definitely should have been F keying or clicking bot to see what's going on mm. down there before actually taking the scuttle. Okay. Honestly, he, he probably should have been pinged as well because you knew Kha'Zix was in this area. Mm. Oh, maybe flash an Annie. Oh, great job. Good job. Yeah. Uh, sweeper, just to see where he is. Okay. Auto. Ooh, auto stutter. Auto stutter. <laughs> oh, maybe maybe uh, could have yeah. gotten him if it was a bit cleaner. Um, yeah, I feel like if I didn't cancel my autos like those two times. Okay, so what I would do is number one, use your sweeper. Number two, do you, do you use attack move click at all? No. Okay, that's a bind in your hotkeys that I would recommend checking out. Um, it means that if you have if you press it and you have no valid target, it acts as a movement input. So you're just moving this way, and as soon as there's a valid target, it acts as an auto attack, and it just auto attacks whatever's closest to your cursor. So oh, if okay. someone's like running into a bush and you press it into the bush, it follows into the bush, right? And as soon as they come out, it'll like auto target them. And that's how you avoid situations like this. The one caveat is it can auto target wards as well. So if there's a ward in there, if they're kind of sneaky and they drop a ward, it can kind of fuck you up. So ideally, it is better to just manually click. But realistically, like you see what happens, it's pretty difficult yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it won't so, happen a lot. Yeah, so it's pretty useful to check that bind out. All right, because I think this is probably a missed kill from that. Okay. See. And then he he stayed in there, and I was like, okay, maybe. Ooh, I was gonna say good job for pushing the lane, but yeah. Um, was there a reason you left this? I, I saw you were on comms earlier. Was the Galio saying he'd like TP in or something? Not not with Galio. I'm not in comms with Galio. I was in comms with Bard. Okay, then this is the big mistake. Um, because this forces Galio to TP. Gal I'm pretty sure Galio has TP, right? This forces Galio to TP yeah. back because this wave is totally, totally fucked. 
Uh -huh. Especially because he's so, melee. This is going to slow push into the other side, then like freeze right here. Or Ben just about to shove it in. Right, right. Usually, usually after a gank, you want to not always, but usually you do want to shove in and just reset, and then yeah. have the have the minions crash. Annie will lose these minions, and then the wave will either reset or, depending on the timing of the next wave crashing, it'll actually slow push back into your guy. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, this be be very careful about this. Um. This fucks your laners over really, really hard. So if he doesn't TP okay. back, he's in a bad spot here. He's going to lose a lot of minions. Because the, because these minions are going to start chunking these guys out. By the time he gets back, the next wave is probably going to crash in like around here. And then his minions are going to have built up and like chunk out so many minions before he gets back. And he probably has wow. no flash right now, right? Because he just died and just got in and engaged. So if the enemy jungler yeah. like loops back around while he's trying to break the freeze then, you know, it's really punishing. It's not as bad in mid lane, but in side lanes especially, it can be so sad. Like, one messed up wave for your laner in the early game versus an aggressive jungler like Elise in high or low, like, the game is over. Like, that lane's completely yeah. done five minutes in. So be, be very careful about the waves. Okay. Um, looks like he TP'd back in. I feel like autopiling bot here probably not the right move. Because you, you know Kha'Zix's Raptors and Krugs are both still up, and Kha'Zix uh -huh. dropped really low here, so oh, his Raps are probably free right now. So what I would yeah. be doing is F-keying or clicking bot here and checking how gankable it is. If it looks immediately gankable, then you go. Um, if it looks like you have some time, then routing over for these Raptors, and then taking either taking all of them and taking the timer, or just leaving one of them up, and then routing into bot from behind to try bush, that could be a pretty good option. Mm -hmm. Um, because based on the lane position, there's no huge rush to rush over from this side, but um, yeah. you definitely should be sweep using sweeper as you come into this. Um, right, you shouldn't be watching yourself here. Um, you should be watching what's going uh, on, seeing what skill shots are used, seeing what positions that tells you what angle to enter at. Maybe you should be entering like this. Um, tells you if flashes are blown, etc. So definitely work on unlock cam. You shouldn't be you shouldn't be looking at this. Mm -hmm. Or at least off keys. Right, because like this, this wasn't an angle where with a bard versus two range champs, it's likely that you'll be able to just run straight through river and get a successful gank off. So I yeah. think it would have been higher value to come over for these raptors first and then wrap around through tribush and see mm -hmm. if there's anything like that. Okay, they're probably gonna stop you back here. Yeah. Okay, so the mindful Kha'Zix is back already. He's probably around here walking to his Krugs. Just backing off. Should be F should be clicking over. Yeah, right. This this is a pretty consistent problem, it looks like, where you're just F you're spaced onto your character at really important times when things like happening just off screen. Um yeah. you need to be looking. So yeah, I know I know it's really uncomfortable getting off um Camlock. And it's like, it makes you play a lot worse when you're trying to do it. But right now, there's just too much necessary info that's missing. Okay, so got a kill here. Um, don't chase into this. Kha'Zix is probably right there. This lane. Let me see what you should have done with this lane. Okay, normally I'd say you should push this out because this is going to slow push into the enemy side. Um, because you have an even amount of minions, but it's closer to your side. So your wave is going to crash first, right? So this yeah. is going to slow push back to the enemy team, which is really bad for your bot lane. The problem is you're not that healthy and you know Kha'Zix is in this area. So if you try to push up and because this wave is coming, you'll have to push the coming wave too. Because you know how the waves are mirrored, so theirs is on tower right now. Um, yeah. That means to get this into tower, you're going to have to push this wave and the following wave. And Kha'Zix is just too close right now, considering you don't have flash and you already have HP. So it sucks, but you have to leave this wave. Mm -hmm. But in an ideal in an ideal state, like you would be pushing this out as well, just like mid lane, just to get the reset for your bot lane. Because this is really bad for your bot lane. It's going to slow push the other way, and they have no flashes. Okay, um... Can you tell me a bit about why... Do you remember why you went for this Gromp? No reason. I don't remember. 
I felt like I should have reset, but I was like, I'm already here. Mm -hmm. So might as well get my blue side and then back. Your blue smite? Oh, your blue side. Um, yeah. I would be careful about defaulting to taking your blue side or like single side clears at times like this because you know it's pretty damaging to take the full clear here right normally you want yeah. full clears but you're going to be taking yourself off the map for quite a while to be full clearing into a back into running out onto the map which isn't too ideal because you're fed right you want to you want to be active on the map so I, i'm sure you recognize a full clear here while it's good for your pathing it's good for your respawns it's not good for your tempo um the issue with taking the Gromp and the Wolves here is it's okay if you need like 200, 250 gold or so for your item spike, but if not, it creates some problems because number one, it throws your resets off, and mm -hmm. number two, it takes away all of your options in your pathing because if you clear Gromp into Wolves into back, you have to go topside, right? No matter what. Yeah. Because if you run back bot side for a play, and it doesn't work out or nothing happens, you don't have any camps here. Kha'Zix probably came bot side, this is gone, this is gone. So the only thing that you would be left is like, you can kind of pray that you can take Dragon, but you, but, you know, that's kind of 50-50. That's kind of and it would be preferable to just back here, in my opinion. Grab your items, you already have a lot of gold, and that way you can pick which side you're coming back out onto, right? You can, if you want to prioritize bot, you can go right to Krugs and go and like path back down, maybe prioritize dragon and bot. You can also back and just come right to Gromp and path up, right? You have a lot of options. Mm -hmm. So and again, unless you need that 200 gold, um, I would probably just back here. Because you're sitting on a bit too much right now. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. Clear, clear. Yeah, and the Kha'Zix took the Drake as well. Ooh, okay. He's Honestly, stuck in the Drake. Oops. Oh, shit. How did I fucking... What? Sorry. Okay, what? What did I just do? Oh, gotcha. Um... Semi-expected, semi-unexpected timing for Kha'Zix. Uh, Kha'Zix does solo Drake early a lot. Vi, Kha'Zix, they often jump over this wall and solo it. And you did know he was going Krugs into Raptors into hit the Drake here. Or not into the Drake, but either to Drake or to Wolves. Um, maybe, it, I think it probably would have been good to path over to check. But it's a bit unexpected. Like, I, I probably wouldn't have been thinking about it either. Because you just got into all the shit bot, so... It's forgivable, I think. Okay. Let's see. So you take wolves. Go for your reset. Kha'Zix is very behind already. Ooh, kind of strange purchase. Very strange purchase. God, let me reopen this shit. I don't know why the... X is like right there, but um, with this gold amount, I probably would have gotten Bammies plus CDR boots, or if you want like Tabbies or Mercs into the enemy team, then okay. you can sell your pot and get Tabbies or Mercs here directly. Cause oh, okay. Mo move speed is huge for a champ like Volley, right? Just to get around the map, yeah. get into ganks. Um, especially because you're going W max. Uh, I know a lot of Korean junglers go three points in Q before maxing W. I think Clid always goes three points in Q before maxing W. Um, it's preference-based, because they've nerfed Volley's MS at rank one on his Q a lot, so a lot of Volley players like getting a couple more points in here just to get better okay. move speed, because he's so slow in his Q now. So yeah. um, that's one thing to try out. It I wouldn't say it's necessarily better, but you should try it out and see which one you like better, especially if you're into more mobile lanes. Um, I probably would have just picked up your T2 boots here. Most junglers, I think, right now like CDR boots because they're just such a strong tempo rush. Um, mm -hmm. But if Tabbies or Mercs are really good into the enemy team, then you can sell your pot and get those here as well. Because this is a pretty weak buy, considering how much gold you had. Mm -hmm. And at the very least, you could have picked up like a, like a cloak here. Or a control ward. Yeah. I hovered over the control ward, and I 
didn't get it in time, so I was like, I'm not gonna return back. It's just wasting time. Mm -hmm. I like that you're clicking the lanes as you're going. Can you talk about why you path to the raptors here? Not not saying it's wrong. Just just curious what your logic was. No reason. I knew I should have been like going top down. Right. Normally, you do want to go top yeah. down. Here it's not bad because Scuttle's up. It's a cleaner path into Scuttle in case Kha'Zix is coming to contest it. You, you could have also run the Scuttle right away and then gone top down, for example. Um, top down gives a bit more like farm efficiency if you're pathing back down here. Mm -hmm. If you want to get top right away, then you can go Raptor's Krux into top. Um, again, I, I won't say this is wrong. But do do always think about it clear, like more clearly when you're running out of base yeah. where, where you should be going and what you're prioritizing. Uh, I don't know why Kha'Zix is down here. That's some really weird pathing because it looks like he went Krugs, Raps, Dragon into back into bot lane. I think. Um, you should be pressing tab here to check on his CS because maybe that means his top side is up for you to take. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's really strange pathing from him. Okay. Looks like his blue's up. I think I looked for a dive here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, um, this is a okay. similar problem as before, where you're not F-keying to see what's actually happening in the lane. So you're kind of running in blind, right, and just hoping it'll work out, and hoping the situation's good. Okay, looks like it could work. You have both up. Ribbon is all empty. I think you probably could have aimed it a bit more to the side and hit both, but it's alright. It still worked out. Uh, but yeah, the only problem is, like, these kinds of ganks, like, they're working, but they're coin flip because you're not, like, looking at the lane and checking what's going on mm -hmm. before you head in. Because there's a lot of important info you're missing. Okay, great. His grump is up, his blue's up, his wolves are probably up. Mm -hmm. Should be kiting this this way just a little bit. Um, I would definitely be checking mid right now, just in case for Pryo, for anything like that, just in case Kha'Zix comes and there might be a fight. Yep. Okay. If you're greedy, you can head down for Wolves because you're so ahead of Kha'Zix. Especially if you had Tabbies or CDR boots already here, there's a great chance you can actually fight him. And if you're playing it safe, then you kite this upwards. You definitely don't stand still here, though. Okay, so Kha'Zix is bought. Looking for a mid gank. Right, this guy's very behind. Mm -hmm. Looks like you're hovering. Pretty, pretty decent hover, I think. Uh, because Annie's so low, there's a chance here. Should definitely be looking mid right now, not at yourself. Flash out. Probably shove this lane in. Okay, good. Okay, can you tell me about where you're going? Oh, actually, it looks like something's happening. Yeah, I went for allowing then Herald. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, can you talk to me about where you're going from here? But it looks like yeah. you have to go somewhere right away. Uh, she still has so, like, my... right? You're probably gonna if you if, she, if you go in here. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Yeah, I died there. And yeah, that's... yeah. Just be careful about that champ when you're low, cause. Yeah. Um, and I'm not gonna judge that too harshly though. It happens. It happens for sure. Okay. Looks like you have your chem tank. Should be taking stock of the lanes right now to help figure out where to go. <laughs> I'm still very new to Volibear as well. I'm still like, trying to see what the limits are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotcha. That, that's fine. That's totally fine. Because there's like some games where I'm like super low, but my W and my E is just like too healthy. Mm -hmm. And I, so I went like straight B line for Harold because I thought Kha'Zix was gonna go there. Mm -hmm. Um. It's a, it's a toss-up here, because the thing is, with the bot lane state, it might have been good to just go bot and then mm -hmm. path towards top. It might have been good just to go top, path towards bot, either one, and like arrive back when... Because the bot lane's looking to reset. 
Um, I would say it's okay. You could have also maybe pinged your Galio over because he had Pryo just to check on the Kha'Zix because Kha'Zix is so weak anyways, but this is all right. Especially because you know that his Gromp timer is coming up soon. Okay, yeah, I need to be looking top here. Yeah, and Kha'Zix is up here as well. If you had W up sooner, I would have flashed W, like out of W there, but it's okay. Um, looks like Annie's coming. Careful. Okay, this is okay. Tab ahead just a bit. Okay, you could have maybe just looked for a rift into dive top when the Wowie comes back since you have ult up. Mm -hmm. Like, you can permanently disable that fucking tower. You can probably just insta one shot that thing. Yeah, so not, not checking. Okay, this is kind of rough because, like, number one, there's maybe some dive potential here. Number two, you're pathing towards mid, so you should be clicking to see mid as well. Number three, there's an engaged bot and your Kate's almost dead. So you should be mm -hmm. clicking, like, your, your portraits are all overlapped, right? So this is a really important time to be checking all three lanes for info to figure out where you should be going next. Because right now it looks like it's a, a little bit co too coin flip. Um, you're just pathing to whatever, whatever is closest, and if it works out, it works out. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Okay. Ooh, that's an early queue. I don't know if I should have, like, ulted that or not, but... Um... It's not too I'll bad. Look. I don't think it was necessary because you had Chem Tank to catch up anyways, but Zyra was right there, so it does help avoid the roots and whatnot, so... I, th I think it was okay. I think better safe than sorry. You probably didn't need it, but I don't disagree with it. And then I saw Kha'Zix in my um, red side jungle, like I saw him hover. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. What? Why did you do that? Yo, I would have gotten so scared there, because, like, who does that? Yeah, I was like, why she flash? Okay, um, this Rift Herald usage is a bit weird. Mm -hmm. Do you know how armor and MR works on tower plates? Yeah, so it drops the lower, like, the lower amount of plates, the more, like, armor it has. Right. Um, yeah, I was like, maybe I'll just, like, Drop a bot so I can go for Drake without having to worry about too much. It's I wouldn't say this usage is awful because you have quite a bit of time left on Rift and on your um, yeah fourteen minutes right. It's not a big usage of this Rift. You you had space and the other thing is like you have to look at your gold total. Um, mm -hmm. It's not gonna this two hundred three hundred gold whatever you get from it. It's like. 160 or whatever per plate and then split with Caitlyn maybe with Bard that's not going to get you to an item spike so it's not an important timer to rush that small amount of gold anyways so I don't quite agree with this rift usage you yeah. probably could have gotten more out of it top One note is whenever you go for an objective like Dragon, I just ping on the way, make sure your teammates know you're on it, just in case they have okay. to rotate. It's just a good habit to get into. Okay. Let me see. This is a similar timer where resetting directly might have been better because otherwise mm -hmm. your plan for the next minute is like gromp into wolves into reset and the split spawn and you're forced top tight again or you full clear and then you back and then you go for red and that takes you off the map for like the next minute and a half i think the only mm -hmm. case where this is acceptable is if you saw your bot was pushed up and you wanted to hover them but you didn't want to waste time while you were hovering so if that was your train of thought here then i think this gromp take is okay 
And if that wasn't what you were thinking, then it's a bit iffy, because yeah. I think a reset here might have been better than sitting on so, this much gold. When I eat the Gromp, I saw, like, Kha'Zix, like, right away, mm -hmm. so I was like... So, so basically, like, if you're thinking in going to this Gromp in the first place was that your bot is pushed up and you want to stay near and hover, mm -hmm. then I think this it's, like, okay. But otherwise, like, if you were just kind of autopiloting over to the Gromp, I don't think that's the best timing. I think it might have been better just to take it back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe a couple point. Maybe you should should try the three points Q build because it looks like your Q is like ending off just a bit before you reach your target pretty commonly. Mm -hmm. Okay, Galio walked over. Maybe dive potential. I think you get. Sp oh, I thought you were gonna sneak back to sneak back in, but you probably could have just chem tanked right onto the Zyber there because your Galio's right there for an ult. Mm -hmm. You know, you know that Zyber has no flash. There's no danger here. Yeah, for sure you can just chem tank right here and run at her, dodge, and then get on her and she's dead. But it's okay. Um, again, it looks like you're defaulting back into your clear. I I'd be careful because it looks like this is a pretty common thing that you do. Um, again, <laughs> it's not like it's not inherently wrong. It's only wrong if you're not like considering your other options and how long you might be taking yourself off the map or how long you're going to be stuck on the map with this much gold because you're yeah. this is way too much gold to be sitting on at this point okay i would be pinging mid you should be lighting up this area with pings right now because you, you probably don't um you, you do know kha'zix is roughly in this area he was seen in the last like 10 yeah. 15 seconds but and I... this is the only spot he can be going for right bot is safe uh top is safe he can't be up there that fast this is the only place that kha'zix could potentially be going so at, at the bare minimum you should be question mark pinging like in this area at his raptors like three times just to let your gal yeah. know like, if you're not 100% sure he's there, you don't have to, like, back ping your Galio. If it looks really dangerous, then spam ping him with backs. Um, it looks like, just in general, you're not really communicating the enemy jungle location and, like, dangerous times to your teammates very well. So, mm -hmm. I'm assuming your games end up kind of coin flip sometimes. Like, even if you do well, it doesn't help shut the enemy jungler down too well, because it looks like you're just not interacting too much with that facet of gameplay. Mm -hmm. Mini, I can alter if you want to come down. You can kill her. Um, I need to back. I have a lot of gold. But yeah. Okay, good that you're thinking about having to back. Uh, should be F keying for sure. Yeah, Kha'Zix just showed up mid. Yeah. No, it's fine. I need to back. Yeah, and he got and he flashed on him. But yeah, he yeah, there. yeah, so you have to treat that as your fault. Um, I know that some ganks seem really obvious, right? Like, you're, you just look at it and you're like, what, how the fuck did you <laughs> die to that? Like, it's so stupid. But you just have to remember that number one laners aren't junglers. They don't they don't read paths as well. They don't read jungle timings as well. They might have no jungle experience. Number two, they're they're like focused on trading, on last hitting. There's so many things they're focused on, right? Because if you look at it, like even as a jungler, you're so focused on clearing right now, and you have like weak unlock camera F key mechanics, you have pretty low map awareness. It's even worse for your laners. So <laughs> Do the job for them, you know, don't don't leave it to chance. This was the only place Kha'Zix could have been ganking, so this should have been called out 100%. Um, yeah, if, if you're the type of player, it looks like your general game sense isn't bad, so I'm assuming it's not, it's pretty common that you get pretty fed. Um, if you run into situations where you're pretty fed, but you're losing games anyways, this is the biggest reason why because mm, no communication right because as it, you have to remember as a jungler it's not just your job to move around the map gank farm it's also your job to communicate about the enemy jungler and you know stymie the enemy jungler and right now the only way you have of stopping the enemy jungler is directly being there and counter ganking that's it um there needs to be more as soon as you climb to like a higher rank, if the enemy jungler is pinging you out, pinging your ganks out, and stopping your ganks, and you're not doing the same to him, it's not gonna go well, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, a bit early on the chem tank. But... Oh, what? She didn't get stunned. <laughs> what is this? There goes Bard. Okay. Um, probably just leave this way for your Kate. 
It's just right there. Take it back. Good. Um, actually, maybe take two creeps just so you can get your DMP, because it looks like you're just so close to DMP. I think DMP is 2900. That might have been appropriate. Yeah, I would I would have actually pinged that. I would have pinged the item and said that you need to show that you need like 60 gold and then you just like take mm -hmm. two creeps there and get a better buy off. Okay. Um having the wolves here is a bit bit default. You should be checking the lanes and figuring out how to go more properly. Okay. Yeah, so biggest thing so far, uh three three big things so far. Is it four? Uh, number one, you're not pinging at all, which also suggests you're not tracking the enemy jungler much. You you also haven't been tabbing and like looking at a CS to check where those camps are, because there's a few points where you should have known certain camps were up. Um, mm -hmm. And getting those camps would be really important for delaying Kha'Zix's level six, for giving you quadrant control so that you know you can like come and repeat punish. So for one, tracking the enemy jungler, pinging out where he is and, and playing around him. Uh, number two, Need to work on unlock cam and F key. It, I know it's hard. It's going to make you play tank as you're working on it, but it's important. You're missing too much right now. Um, number three, think a bit more about back timings and when you come back, like where you go when you come back out onto the map. Because right now you're doing this split clear thing a lot and it's always forcing you into coming to the other side of the map after you're clear. And it's, it's, it's just not too necessary sometimes. You already have good back timers with your gold and backing right away would get you back onto the map immediately so you can pressure with your lead and you can like pick which side you're going so those are some big things to know so far oh oh wait did you double that one okay i thought kha'zix was there okay i eat it yeah that was my um oh beat. yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. right because like you're being funneled into this path from wolves up and you have no idea if this is where you want to be on the map at this time. Um, mm -hmm. you, you haven't really checked the lanes out. You haven't pressed tab and like looked for where should I be prioritizing right now? A lot of that comes down to wave state, uh, items, how low the towers are, trying to chunk down first tower. Right now it's like because you took Gromp and autopiloted down to wolves that decides your pathing. And that's not an ideal situation to be in. Then it's just coin flip whether you end up on the right side of the map or not. <laughs> okay, let's see here. To be honest, I've lost track of Kha'Zix a bit. Not too sure where he is right now, so I'd be pinging in this area, just because this is the only danger point. R Riven super safe, right? Nothing can happen top, nothing can happen mid. So I would just be pinging in this area just in case. Um, so actually Kha'Zix showed up right here with a Lowie. I saw, yeah, so I saw that and I was like, let me pop Oracle. Ooh, oh, I actually didn't see that. Oh, me, yeah. Oh, right there in, um, Redbush? Or by Red, Red Buff? Wait, he showed up on the map? Yeah, so he got there, I don't know where from, but I'm assuming from like mid, right? Oh, I, I didn't see his portrait, sorry. I must have missed it. Okay, then. Oh, I didn't see it either. yeah. Oh, oh, you mean just so, when you walked into the bush, that's when you saw it. So, yeah, when I saw Lao hit the plant, I was like, she might come for me, so mm -hmm. let me place a ward there. Yeah, um, okay, then you should have been pinging bot, because, you know, Riven's safe, mid is safe, this is the vulnerable spot. Even if Kha'Zix isn't there, it's better safe than sorry, right? Like, if you ping it and your bot lane backs off, if your lane backs off, they lose two seconds or whatever, not a big deal. If you don't ping it and he's there and they die, big deal, right? So the trade-off is like, you might as well play it safe because you, you don't quite know where Kha'Zix is right here. And this is the only place that's like potentially in danger. Okay. Very so weird loud, invade yeah. from the Kha'Zix though. Like he's so behind. Yeah. Like, I don't know why he was just there, right? Yeah, it was like... really bizarre. I wouldn't have expected that either. That's understandable. Ooh. Little thing just kited it out. Good. Ooh, okay. No, just no. Ooh. Alright. Oh, your gallium missed. I know. Looks 
good. Okay, I wouldn't have run straight into her thing in the first place. It's just so hard to fight Alawi in that, especially if you haven't gotten Grievous yet. Um, but it's good that you backed out right away and realized you couldn't fight that. Okay. Uh, it looks Bro. like you defaulted to your Krugs here, even though your bot is like getting Omega pushed in. Um, and then Annie showed up right behind us. Yeah, I, I would have just checked over real quick just to make sure there's nowhere you need to be right away or nothing you need to care about right away before going here. Like, most likely this is correct. Bot lane's a bit far, and Annie backed off. But, you know, it, it you can't know if you were right or wrong without checking. Okay, probably looking for a base for DMP here. Yeah, so, at the end of this game, right? Mm -hmm. I was the only one with Bramble. Or, like, any sort of anti-heal. Sure. Let's see, the enemy... Uh, let me take a look at the enemy comp. It was like towards the Alawi, like, you know, in the team fights. Big, yeah. and then... So, Kha'Zix W heals as well, right? Kha'Zix W heals, it's not that significant. They actually have very low healing as a team. It's almost nothing. It's just Alawi. And the thing is, Alawi's actually not even going to heal that much, because she didn't go for heavy AD. She went for a tank build. Mm -hmm. So, actually, Grievous isn't too big here. Um, if you... Basically, when you're thinking about whether to get Grievous early, um... Think about which side of the map you're actually playing towards. If you're actually playing towards the Alawi consistently, then you want to itemize against her, right? And if you tend to be playing towards bot side, and or you're planning to be playing towards your bot side, and just leave Alawi split pushing, then you don't need Grievous at all, because they, they have almost nothing. Um, yeah. Maybe better for Riven to be the one to pick up like an Executioner's, because she's laning against the she's laning against the Alawi mostly. Um, probably it's not so efficient for anyone else to pick up, just an Executioner's on Riven is what I would recommend here. Okay, oh. Somewhat strange invade timer. Probably would have backed all the way over here just to grab DMP, get up, get back out onto the map. Mm -hmm. Cause, number one, there's a great chance this is down in the first place because Kha'Zix came and invaded here. Second thing is, because of the current reset timers, they're going to be coming back out and resetting, and I, you haven't backed yet, so it's a bit iffy. You, you wouldn't want to get into a fight right there. Wait, could you import DMP there? Or am I miscalculating? I would have been able to get DM, like, um, dead man's if I got the camps, if they were up. Oh. Okay. I needed 200 more gold. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah that's okay then. Um, I, I just I, I forgot you didn't have a ruby, so I miscalculated. Then that's slightly more justified on the check, yeah. For sure. uh, definitely make a note of like any time you're coming out of base, just just click all the lanes, check all the lane states. Because right now every time you path back out, you're like it's very strange. Every time you path back out, you're pathing to an number one, you're always going to an inner camp, which is not always wrong. Like for example, if you want to prioritize top quickly, but you don't want to leave your whole bot side up, you'd skip Gromp, you'd skip the far side camp. Or like if you want to prioritize bot, but you don't want to leave mm -hmm. your whole top side up, you can run right to Raptors and then head down and just leave the far side camp. That's okay. Um, it's also okay if you want to be proximal to mid immediately, just in case there's some fight happening here. But you're kind of defaulting to heading to Raptors or Wolves, which kind of messes with your respawns. Like, your okay. path is always going to be non-linear, and your respawns are always going to be non-linear. It's a bit strange. Um, uh, and it, doesn't look like, it doesn't look like there's any reason you're doing it besides just, like, comfort. It's, it's, it's what you normally do. Because mm -hmm. I, do, I don't see much reason for it. Nine seconds. In these situations. Yeah, I kind of just end up autopilot, autopilot the game. Mm -hmm. um, it's not like... I wouldn't say it's, like, mega-mega damaging, but it's, like... It, it adds up over time to be a little bit. Interesting. No, Here. it definitely does uh, because okay. there's been games hey, where I get out. super ahead of the fine. enemy jungler, but I still end up losing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, that's a bit understandable from watching this because like not pinging him at all, um, not playing around <laughs> him too much. Like generally, the pathing logic in games like this where. All three lanes are appropriate ganks, right? You have okay setup in all three lanes. They're all kind of decent. Um, 
your setup mid is good your setup top pretty good uh if it always like if you waste your thingy uh your setup bots not amazing but the enemy bots kind of vulnerable as zyra kaisa so all three lanes are potentially good to gank right um if you're really ahead of the enemy jungler in a situation like this the main factor that you should guide your pathing around is matching the enemy jungler. You want to be on the same side of the map as the enemy jungler most of the time, and you want your resets to cause you to have similar tempo to him, because if you're the stronger jungler and you're on the same side, that suffocates all of Kha'Zix's plays, right? He can't do anything while you're on the same side of the map. Um, he can't take your camps, he can't trade camps, uh, you, can trade, you can contest for his if you have prio, he can't gank lanes because you're right there to counter gank, right? And you can gank, you're stronger. He can't properly counter gank. So when you're stronger, when you're significantly stronger than the enemy jungler, you do usually want to match him. And sometimes that affects your back timer. Sometimes you'll back at times that don't make sense for your items just because he died or something and he's going to reset to the other side of the map and you want to match him right away. Okay. Um, Conversely, if you're really behind the enemy jungler, you don't want to run into him, right? You want to play on opposite sides of the map to kind of trade 50-50. That way he can't stop your plays. Maybe he'll get something bot side, but you can get something top side. That's favorable from a losing scenario, right? Um, so that's one factor to keep in mind in your pathing. It's not the factor. It's not the only thing that you that you path around, but it is something I'd like make a mental note of because you don't want to trade 50 50 with this Kha'Zix if you go top and kill Alawi and Kha'Zix goes bot and kills your bot lane that's unfavorable from your situation Kha'Zix doesn't deserve to get any kills he's so behind you he gets way more out of that than you do out of that exchange yeah. so yeah just just something to keep in mind um it's a bit difficult for you right now because you're not tracking him too well in the first place but once you're better at tracking the enemy jungler that's something you can start what? thinking about they're all here <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't know why Alawi is there. Maybe for dragon. Alawi's bot side. Okay, let, let me actually uh, play just a little here. bit of this. See what's uh, going on. Okay, should definitely be pinging dragon here. Dragon in 40 seconds, just to let your ribbon know. You should be checking on your ribbon's TP. Mm -hmm. Yes, TP up, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Should, should just be pinging dragon so everyone knows. Maybe people can get resets and buys off before dragon, just so they're more aware. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, when's your ult off? 29 seconds. Yeah. Okay. Actually, um. Probably Raptor's Wolf's Gromp into this might have been okay. Depends on the scuttle timer. I tried to should be definitely looking bot here. Like, you're already level 11. Um, this isn't going to get you a level. This isn't a high value camp at this time. It's definitely, if your bot lane dies or gets chunked out really badly here, it, you lose dragon, right? So you should be prioritizing clicking here first and seeing what's going on. Yeah. Here. Because you lose oh. a lot of bot lane. Uh, okay. out. Hey, my portal made them back out. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Yeah, oh, everyone's here for dragon. Yeah, they're all here because their their Kha'Zix probably ping. Someone on their team probably pinged for this dragon, and nobody on your team did. So number one, your bot didn't know to like play in a way to facilitate dragon, not to get chunked out like this. Um, your Riven maybe should have come down in the first place. And what? They're all here. Let's see, let's skip just a bit and see how this plays oh, out. Tough to contest this at this point. Ooh. Flash was a bit weird. Okay, so well, sweeper. Just want to replay this real quick, see what you did. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, I probably would have flashed a bit later, just to guarantee it. Um, because it might just be a flash trade otherwise. Okay. Ooh. You died here. Nice job, okay, it looks nice like job. you get out, probably lose dragon. But do you see how Riven could have been here the whole time? And you have to treat that as your fault, because you didn't ping for the dragon. Yeah.
Okay. Um, I'm trying to... Ooh, Ruben's I'm definitely the TP in here. You probably just get out, you're too low at this point. Sun, 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 sun! I have, I have no HP, I can't go in. Yeah, I, I would have just left. It's, it's so I dangerous to stay up. here. You probably have a shutdown. Oh, oh man, that's so bad because yeah. it's 900 gold shutdown. Or, well, total 900 gold. Um. Yeah, because it's like 300 base gold, then there's the bounty gold. I, I need to look up how, if assists share in bounty, I don't think they do. But I think it's like 150 gold oh. for the assist. Because it's half yeah. of the 300 gold, then there's the bounty. So this is, what, 1,050 gold given to the enemy team for free. Oh, what? Kha'Zix are steering. Damn. Yeah, that's like crazy. Um, definitely, Riven should have been there faster. But to be fair, you should have pinged her in advance. You should have mm -hmm. pinged Dragon in advance. And once you saw you were that low, when you have a bounty, you can't play like this. Because the game is different from a few seasons ago. The bounty system changed a lot. You cannot play aggressively in the same way when you're super fed anymore. Um, I mean, you still want to push your lead, but you have to be extra careful. Because you, you are the objective. People go hunting for you. You're you're like bigger than any tower. You give as you give more gold than the tower. You are the objective for the enemy team if you have a bounty. So you have to kind of treat it that way. You kind of just toss the huge present into their lap. So it might look like your score is good, but basically you didn't do well with that responsibility, right? Mm -hmm. she gets yeah. she gets double maybe. Okay. Let's see here. Dies here, that's so I think she dies. Let's see if the tentacle kills her. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, so at this point, if Kha'Zix starts one-shotting your bot lane, um, you have to treat that as like, you fucked up. <laughs> okay, he's TPing back out. Uh, Pretty sure Dragon's just player. gone. Yeah. Okay, uh, you should be rushing his top side. This blue's coming up, and the, the bot fight's been going on so long that this is probably all free for you. Mm -hmm. Alternative is rushing the rift real quick. I don't know if you actually have enough damage as tank volley at this timer. I don't think so. Maybe if you were like a kindred or something with higher DPS, you could just hop over the back of the camp yeah. and solo it, but... For sure, I think defaulting, you defaulted again to one of the inner camps when you didn't you, there were like other options available you should this this for sure is free like i think my problem when i try to invade right or when i want to invade is like i feel like i'm about to get jumped so i'd rather just play it safe the map? um what i would say is not okay sadly um I know it's uncomfortable, mm -hmm. I know, like, things like dives and fades seem like unnecessary risks, but those are those are necessary aspects of jungling, right? You can't just jungle and not have those in your arsenal, because you, mm -hmm. you're so handicapped as a jungler then. Like, that that's part of jungle play. If your opponent's cross-side and his camps are up, you should be punished for it, you should get a camp lead off of that. Okay. Um, invading blindly, yes, that's bad. That's bad, but this isn't blind, but you know they were all here. You know they're on dragon. Mm. You could have beelined straight for this blue and gromp. Probably not the wolves, because um, they might reset into it. But if you just beeline for this, for sure you could just take the blue and the gromp. You could you could even double camp them. Just whack the blue, either either the either gromp. gromp and bring them together, and then double camp them with your passive and E. Um, it would have been really quick, and you could just peace out back to your top side. I could have just left those two. Oh, why? You're right. You should have been up here grabbing all of this. Maybe if oh, he smited. Oh, I didn't get. I didn't get rid of this. Oh, wow. okay. Let me oh. backtrack just a bit and see if. Okay, so your guys are coming out, this dragon timer. You should be aware that you may be losing your blue. Kha'Zix will come in for your blue after. 
Mm -hmm. Definitely should have bought a control board there. Okay, so Annie pieced out. I'd still be question marking in this area, because Kha'Zix may still be there. Yeah. Right, because there's only one spot he could potentially go here. Caitlyn's alone. Yeah, just one travel block like right after Drake. Right. Okay, so Zyra's pushing in aggressively. The man? Right, like, the thing with your pathing here is, do you see how it's, like, putting you in the middle of nowhere? You path from raptors mm -hmm. over to Krugs, and now we're, like, you're completely proximal to nothing on the map. You're not near anything of value. Um, I somewhat understand it if you, if you were, like, looking at the red timer and you were, like, either way, I'm gonna have to wait on red. But because there were other options available here anyways, for sure, I think here the right option would be path through mid. Um, go straight for here, maybe Raptors into here, and then double back for red or something like that. Or Raptors into bot, or, you know, like Wolves into bot if you sus suspect something mm -hmm. going on here. So, not using your lead oh, too why? in terms of where you place yourself on the map right now. Yeah, here as well, like, you were already but into the Raptor bush. You could potentially just run over onto this, especially because Gallier can maybe ult into this play. But you mm -hmm. kind of defaulted to this without checking it's down here. Cause it's gonna go for you guys. Here for sure, this is when you rotate down here. It's too late for you oh, to play. Oh, he smited. So you rotate into his jungle. Oh, I, didn't get... I, didn't get I wouldn't even bother clearing this for tempo. You can clear it later. And then okay. just run down there. Oop. Yeah. I don't want to worry about it. Reset? Your tempo into the invade might be a bit too slow now. Oh, no, he's still. Okay, good. Allow me already ulted. Good vision. Should be. Three. Probably just. Probably just all this is getting a bit extended. Okay, looks like you got her anyways, it's fine. That kill was getting away from you a little bit, like if Annie was behind or something, it might have gone dicey, but... Ooh. Okay, I, I like the aggression, I like that you backed out as well, because everyone's missing. But yeah, you, I think you, by and large, you missed your timer to do this safely. You can still kind of take it, but they may be in the area now. Hmm. I started like start it and then she left. Okay, looks like you still get him, but for for sure this should have been taken a while ago. Mm -hmm. Should have been taken a while ago, and that would have placed you next to the Riven and Lawi fight much sooner as well. Since the Riven was pushing up, it put you proximal to her. It's quite nice. Okay. I don't know if Bramble's the right item here. Um, like if you want Grievous into. Ilawi, like I said earlier, first off, an Executioners or something on Riven would be great. Um, the thing with Bramble is they actually have to auto you, right? For the Grievous to be applied. Mm -hmm. And Ilawi doesn't does, auto. She's not going to auto you. She's going to just ult and maybe auto someone. Let me, let me look at... Um, I should know this, but... When you upgrade to Thormail, if you immobilize them, does that auto apply it? Immobilizing enemy champions oh, also. Yeah. Okay, so once you reach... Thornmail, um, it's okay. Although Thornmail is kind of a trashy item, but yeah, once you reach Thornmail, it's okay because you can just queue the Lawi if you remember to do so. But otherwise, it's not actually that efficient. Even executioners could have been okay. So, can I? My question is, should I be building executioners on a tank or no? Um, you can. Yeah, Volley has some decent AD scalings. Like, if, if you have, like, no AD scalings on the tank, it's like an AP tank, like, Zac for sure, no, right? You want to get, like, Bramble or whatever. But mm -hmm. Volley, Volley has appropriate AD scalings, and, like, it's not even bad to get a little bit of damage, right? You're so tanky that you live long enough that a little bit of damage goes... It's, like, more valuable in some ways than on an AD build. So, no, no, it's not bad at all to pick up some, like, just the lone executioners, or even, even like, a chempunk or something can be okay. Yeah. So, I'm still trying to like, get, like get used to this game because I only started playing like 2020, so I'm mm -hmm. still 
learning the ropes of it. Uh -huh. So, most of the time, I always see like tanks building Bramble instead of executioners, and I'm like, oh, I shouldn't be building executioners then. If I'm uh, a tank. Um, I mean, normally you will be getting Bramble. It's pretty good on tanks. Mm -hmm. But in this situation, you just want to look at it like you're getting that mostly for the Grievous for Alawi, and she's probably not even going to auto you. So before she ults and gets her stuff off, so not it doesn't quite accomplish what you want out of it that effectively. Uh -huh. Whereas executioners is like yeah, it's an AD item, but AD is not necessarily that bad on volley. He has pretty good AD ratios, and it's more guaranteed. As soon as you go whack a Kali, it get, I mean Ilawi, it guarantees it. Okay. Mm hmm. Mindful, your okay. Um. Okay, this movement away is problematic. I know why you're heading towards Krugs. Like, you're almost at your thorn mail, right? You want to get this last mm -hmm. bit of gold. Um, the problem is you're splitting off from your team at a time when they're all grouped up and the enemy's grouped up near. Um, something you want to remember at times like this is the, the rule of thumb is ping or go. Uh, go as in be with your team, go, go to your team. Ping as in mm. if you decide that you don't want to go in here, you like it's not a good time, nothing's going to happen, and you want to go farm something to reach a spike, then you have to ping them. You have to ping that you're coming here, or you have to back ping onto your team, um, and let them mm. know that you're not there. Because... No, nobody checks where the entire team is every two seconds, right? It's it's hard. I'm sure you don't do it either. You lose track of where people are. To your mm -hmm. team, what they're probably thinking is like, Volley's right here. E everyone's right here. Caitlyn's splitting, but the, us four are here. We can make a play. Um, and as the strongest member with like half your fucking team's gold, if you're splitting off at certain times without notifying them after you're all together, people might notice too late. Especially because you have some pretty engage heavy champions, Bard, Galio, Riven. These guys are going to be looking for engages, right? That's the nature of the champions. Um, it's a bit safer if you have like Janna, Lulu, disengage champions, but you've got a bunch of engage champs that are probably looking to go in. They all have their ults up, everyone's together. So splitting off like this without at least pinging your team that you're leaving is really dangerous. A lot of games get lost like this. Um, <laughs> Another really common scenario where this happens is like after a Baron, you know how people tend to split backs, like two or three people back and two people stay on the map getting like some extra gold before backing? Um, mm. That happens so frequently and the, like, the reset and the tempo on the map gets staggered because one guy is like coming over for Krugs after Baron, All the, the rest of them reset and are running back out onto the map. And by the time this guy resets and he's in Fountain, they're all over here. And looking mm -hmm. to make a play and push Baron. And then they die as 4, because it's 4v5. And this dude's like, why the fuck did you guys go in? Like, why did, why, why did you throw? I'm, I'm in base. Like, why didn't you wait for me? The problem is yeah. he didn't ping, right? He's the odd man out. He's the one who reset at a different time from his team and broke off. He needs to ping. He needs to communicate that really heavily. I need 200 gold, please wait. And then back ping on them, right? Um... Okay. Th this split off is dangerous. It looks like you went back because you're in comms and saw something might be happening. But the initial split off, you need to ping your path if you're going to this Krux right away to let your team know. Because otherwise, they might go in here. They're, they're, they're setting up for a play. They might go in right as you're leaving and it's too late to come back. This this right here is so dangerous. Like If, if someone went in here and you're over here, th this fight's so doomed. Yeah, like stuff stuff actually happened while you were gone. Um, okay. Ooh, this is deep. Do be mindful, Caitlyn's not here. Nice, nice solo. Okay, probably get out here. It didn't go bad, to be honest. Caitlyn can probably get the same. Guys are not ulti. Okay, went, went pretty well, nice but job. yeah, should should have definitely been at the start. Okay, um, let's see here. I would check mid before going to Krugs here, just to make sure you, you, they don't need you there to help defend. 
Okay. And then look for a back right here. Good. good. Looks like you got your thorn mill, two control wards. Probably just pick up a cloth or something at this point, just for the value. Third item. <laughs> Don't really want to be coming out with extra gold at this point. Okay, let's see here. Be a bit careful on this play. It's it's not necessarily bad, but just just look at where everyone else is on the map. You're pretty split off yeah. on your team. Um, if this turns into an actual team fight, you and you die, you lose Baron. So just be mindful of that, because almost everyone on the enemy team is missing. It's obviously going to take a while to kill a Kha'Zix, and your team is not here. Ooh, it's a big commit. Fight worked out. You're so fat. Um, okay, I, I'm not gonna say it was explicitly wrong. You are really big. You have Bard behind you. You are way ahead of the Kha'Zix, and Annie was showing mid. Riven does have TP. Um, so I'm not gonna say the play was wrong. It did go very well. Just be careful, is all I would say. Just, just be mindful. Make sure you're checking where your teammates are before plays like that, because. It was pretty coin flipping. Plays like that can just as easily go wrong if the team enemy team is nearby. Mm -hmm. oh. Good, right? oh, she missed. I tried to get some life steal off Tibbers, but I'm not sure if I can get life steal from her. Um pretty sure you can like as long as you get w repeats on something but you're gonna take more damage from tibbers because it has damage over time like in an area around it mm -hmm. so yeah you probably just leave this yeah um this is okay you've had you've had another shutdown over this is happening pretty consistently when you're low i like that you're hanging around i like that you're trying to stay in the fight and like maximize your output but your champion isn't good for this um, if you're playing like Conk Ka with Gore Drinker, Red Cane, okay, you can hang around with low HP, you can wait for your Gore Drinker to come up and opportunistically come back in. Volley's sustain is delayed, right? He has to, it comes on his second W. If mm -hmm. he's low, he's probably going to stay low. His sustain realistically is not good. Um, you need to look at it objectively and be like, it's... It's not worth staying here. It's too dangerous. I might be feeding my shutdowns. There's other things you could be doing. You could be pressuring this mid wave in. You could be grabbing this scuttle. You could be counter jungling. You know, you could be pressuring a side wave. You could be looking for a reset. Because um, this is the same thing that happened in that other fight where you're feeding your bounty over for pretty much no reason. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm not going to be too harsh on it. I, I, I think the, the, the line of thinking is good. You're trying to participate in the fight and maximize your usage. So I'm not, I'm not too harsh on it, but you can tell the effect is not so great. Okay. How did this messy shit start again? You, you you got the good play, it was a 4v3. Was it just the Lawi chunking you guys? Lawi TP, but Riven counter. I think this factors in, this actually happens in part because of your play down here. The initial play worked out, but your team's quite far, right? Riven has TP, but Galio and Caitlyn were in base. So even though this is a 4v3 on the map, you guys are functionally down two people for the majority of this part of the fight. That's probably a big part of why it went wrong. Riven got rooted up. This is a bit bad, and then Elawi just kind of comes in and chunks. Yeah, so actually, indirectly, this was caused by your engage onto Kha'Zix here. Mm -hmm. This extended play when your team went scored oh here. Oh my god. Why did I go back to 
Like, you don't want to do results-based analysis, you don't want to look at it and go like, this went right, this went wrong, so it was a good call or a bad call, but it's kind of like, percentages. Um, how likely is it that this scenario is going to happen from the play you made? And it's actually pretty likely that this was going to happen at this point in the game. Okay, let's see. I'll skip through here just a bit. I don't know if we have time. 30. We, we can go a bit over because I would like to take a look at like another replay just to see if some of these habits are like flukes or like if the things that happen game to game. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, I'll, I'll tap through here a bit more quickly because at this point it looks like the game's a bit out of your hands. Your teammates are all behind and you're a tank. So I, I want to see what, what happened though. Okay, I don't know why your kid split off again. This is the same thing you did basically, where you kind of split off a little bit and didn't really ping. And like, look, you're you're on engage. Like, this is the exact thing I'm talking about, right? Like, you're fed, you're full HP, you're on engaged champion. So when you see an enemy champ, you want to go in, right? That's your tendency. Um, so if Caitlyn pinged that she wasn't here and back pinged on you, that'd be real helpful in telling you that no, don't go in here. Um, this is the same type of type of logic you have to use for your teammates. When you split off for those Krugs, they're all on engaged champs, full HP with ults. They're all looking to go in, just like you're going in here. It's the exact same go, go, go tendency. So you need to be mindful of that. And when you're the one in this Kate's position, you need to ping your teammates heavily. Remember, either go with your team or ping them at times like this, one or the other. And if things go wrong um, and you didn't do one of those things, you have to look at it like it's your fault, no matter how obvious and how bad the play was. Because mm -hmm. you didn't do your part in preventing it. Okay, this is that for sure just to back out. It's a bit of a rough, even if Kate was there, it's a bit of a rough engage, to be honest. Look, look, check where your team is, they're all pretty far back, while well, the enemy team's quite mm. close. Like, yeah, you're tanky, you're tanky enough to tank through that, but is that a good use of your stats? Is that a good use of your golden EXP? Yeah. The, the further it gets into the game, um the more you have to play with your team on a champ like Molly. I know early game, it's hard to see that transition point because early game you feel so fucking strong when you're fed. Like you can't die, you run around, yeah. you do a lot of damage, you 100 o people. But as the game progresses into like an actual 5v5 team state, you have to recognize that turn in the game state. Because at this point, you're a tank. You, you can't be making huge solo plays like yeah. that anymore. Ooh, Classic's cleaning up. Yeah, you kind of have to look at it like he got into this back into this game off of you, off of what yeah. you're saying in that fight. Off that one shutdown. It sucks. It sucks because you feel like you played pretty what? well the whole game. Like you're you're doing well. Your teammates are all feeding a little bit and like you're individually like holding up your team and then you make one mistake and then the game falls away it really sucks but that that's just how the game is right now because of the shutdown system so you just have to play mm -hmm. around it okay mm -hmm. ice is not here maybe a good time to go in since guys is not there At this point, too late. Let's see, so you guys are just turtling. You get a solo kill on Tysa. Nice job. Don't know where the enemy team is. Don't know why she's so split off. This is a bit dangerous if, I, if you don't know where they are. Oh, I haven't seen the portraits because I skipped ahead a bit. So, let's see how this loss actually happened. Okay. A little bit far ahead of your team. You, you might have gotten everyone killed there if they were in this bush. So just, you, you have an E to check it to, so that you don't have to face check and mm. your team doesn't have to face check. So just toss an E there. Are they on soul point? 
you remember. I believe so, yes. Yeah, I don't think you got much Thornmail value there. Like, I, I don't know if it's just going to pass on. I want to see that. Okay, yeah, they are in Soul Point. Okay, I, I can kind of understand that now. Why yeah. you went in so aggressively. Yeah, that caused it. It's like one more big fight, probably. Be careful, Ribbon's not here. Does she have TP? No, I don't believe she did. Okay, I'm gonna say, like, that wasn't explicitly bad to go for, it looked like a decent pick, and your your, your priority in fights is actually really good. Um, you turn out, like, the, what I remember in that gank mid where you're going for the Kha'Zix then flashed onto the Annie, like, your, re, mm -hmm. your retargeting is actually really solid, it's very good for your level. Um, the, the way you played the fight was good. Um... I would be just be more mindful. Like I, I, again, I can't say this was explicitly bad. It did look like a like it did look like a decent pick, but mm -hmm. it seems to be a really common thing where you're not too aware of where your teammates in are before you go in. Um, so I, I would be careful of situations like this, regardless. Because you're actually getting baited in just a little bit by picks that look good. Yeah. Thank you.